Mirë mbroma miq, sonte a juftoj të qëndroni me ne, duke besuar sa jo qëfar do të diskutojmë në këto studio, do tjetë një inkurajime dhe nëzitje për ecjen tuaj me përëndin. Në Bibel në shumë vargje bëtë thirje për shenjëtëri, për një jetë të shenjtë, cilët janë hapat që duhet të ndjekim dhe si mund të ecin shdo dit në njësi me Krishtin. Diskutojmë sonte me Dr. Caroline Johnson, folsem su e se Biblia, vjen nga San Diego, Kalifornia. Mirë se erdhe në studium tonë, Caroline. Thank you, thank you for having me. Êshtë në si të të kemi sërish në këtë intervjis në studion e familja 7. Në fakt, kam një pytje shumë të rëndësishme. Të jetosh një jetë të shenjtë në një botë jo të shenjtë. Êshtë e mundur kjo? Yes, it is. A holy life doesn't mean a perfect life. It means that you are totally devoted to God. I call it being sold out to Him. It's a colloquial term in Hebrew in America, but it just means that your heart is totally given to God. Is it easy? No. But it is possible. Only through the power of the Holy Spirit. Por si është e mundur që të ecim në këtë shenjë të ri, cilët janë të sa nga hapat? It is possible only through God. In the Old Testament, in Leviticus 19, it tells us, be holy as I am holy. In 1 Peter, uh, it says, be holy as I am holy. Uh, it's in the first chapter of 1 Peter. And so God wouldn't say for us, he wouldn't say, be holy as I am holy, unless it's possible. He doesn't ask us to do the impossible. But it, it's only possible through the power of the Holy Spirit. When we are filled with the Holy Spirit, then we can. Uh, I think... Peter's life is a, is a supreme example of somebody who, when he knew Jesus as a disciple, he followed Jesus, he was a disciple, um, he saw the death and the resurrection of Jesus, but even after that, he could not be um, equipped to live a holy life. Because we see it when Jesus comes to him and he says, uh, Peter, do you know me? He goes, yeah, I know you, but do you know me? <laughs> of course I know you. So this is the third time when Jesus asked him, do you know me? He said, it says in the word of God that he was hurt, that Jesus would ask him such a question. Of course, you know, I know you. But see, what we don't get in, at least in the English Bible, is that Jesus is saying, do you know me? Do you agape? God love me. Of course I know you. Do you agape love me? Of course I love you. And the third time, Jesus comes down and says, but do you even love me like a brother? Peter says each time, yeah, I love you like a brother. Do you love me as God? The first time, I love you like a brother. Uh, do you love me <laughs> like as God? You, you know I love you like a brother. And the third time, Jesus comes down and says, but do you even love me like a brother? And he's hurt. He goes, of course, I love you like a brother. How could he not get that right after seeing all that he had seen, the miracles, the feedings, all that? Then Pentecost came. And when he was filled with the Holy Spirit, he is transformed. And that's what happens in our lives. What did he do when he got the Holy Spirit? He preached and 3,000 people came to know Jesus that day. That's the power of the Holy Spirit. That's the same gift God wants to give to each one of us. Në Bibel thua që hapat e një besimtari drejton Zoti, por si mund të kemi ne një transformim, pra si mund të transformojmë edhe mendjen, edhe zemrën? It's a daily choice. It's a surrender. And I think when the Holy Spirit came in my life, He so radically changed. And I was not a bad person. I was not a, even an immoral person. But I knew that I was not living the kind of life God was talking about in his word. And so when I surrendered him to him, even my marriage, everything, everything I struggled with, he came in and... Uh, so transform me so that now, if I am not right with God, if I, if I 
have a bad attitude, if I <laughs> get upset with the person driving in front of me, uh, you know, just anything that can just not be holy, God checks me and I can't wait to get it right with God. I want to confess it. I want to say I'm sorry. It might mean going to a person and saying, I'm sorry, I said that, I didn't mean it that way. I mean, I'm, please forgive me. And to whatever God calls me to do, I have to live in obedience to Him. Si, si mendon, Caroline, ashtë të shenjëtëria një proces që a duhet vazhdoj gjithjetën? It's absolutely a lifelong process. Uh, some people believe that the Holy Spirit comes in after you get saved and is a second work of grace. There's some churches that say, no, you get as much of the Holy Spirit as you're ever going to get. And I think both of those answers are correct. So when you are filled with the Holy Spirit, it doesn't mean that you're perfect from that day forward. It doesn't mean that everything is wonderful. Quite the opposite. And so as new situations come up, new challenges, uh, whether it's health or relationships or finances or, or work, daily we have to give it to God. Pra, uh, duhet jemi të shenjt, por nuk jemi të përkryer. Cili është dalimi mes këtyre të dyjave? It's perfect. There is no perfect without God in our lives. We have to be totally surrendered to Him. And uh, only it's when Jesus shines through us, when He lives on us, when He works through us, and we, we seek His mind and His way, and we pray that we can become more like Him. Holy just becomes, is really just becoming more like Jesus every day. But it's a daily process. Uh, dhe, a kemi gjithë shka që ne na duhet për shenëtërin, pra a ka siguruar Zoti gjithë shka për këto, që ne të mund të kemi? Actually, there is a verse that tells us that we, we have everything. It's in 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 3. His divine power, not our power, His divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life, through our knowledge of Him who called us by His glory and goodness. And so it says that He's given us everything we need to live a godly life. Biblia e thot, <laughs> shumë qartë aty. Por në fakt, në një nga mësimet e tua, uh, ti e ke quaj të rustimin uh, e shejtëris një jetë të mrekulueshme. Pse e ke quaj të rkështu? Because it is a wonderful life. Um, and, and the Bible goes before us and do that. It's in the Old Testament and it's in the New Testament. And if I were just to, to pick out one example of the Old Testament, it, it might be Isaiah, where he was a prophet. He's, he's telling the people, woe is you, woe is you, woe is you. He's pointing out all the faults of the people in the nation. But when he comes into the presence of God mm -hmm. and the train uh, the robe of the train of Jesus fills the temple, and, and Isaiah is ushered into that. What does he say? Woe is me. Woe is a word, it, it's funeral talk. It was saying, I'm as good as dead. So he was preaching and saying, you're as good as dead, you're as good as dead, you're as good as dead. But when he comes into the presence of Jesus, he says, I'm as good as dead. And he was so transformed in that coal, that, that coal that's taken off, comes flying towards him. <laughs> I think it just singed his lips because he said, he confessed, I'm a man of unclean lips. And he was transformed. In the New Testament, again, we can look at the life of Peter. He, he certainly had his ups and downs. So we have the stock market in, in the United States and it goes up and down, up and down. That's the way Peter's life is. Oh, it was until Pentecost. And at Pentecost, he is a transformed person. Is he perfect? No. But mm -hmm. he's transformed because he's filled with the Holy Spirit. That's the difference that, that should be in our lives when we have the Holy Spirit. Si përpich është ti që të ecë është gjdo dit e të bësh qëfar fjala e Zotit sot? është e vështirë? It's always a challenge. Um, I think I referred earlier to things that come into our lives. It's, it's often the unexpected things. Um, 
For me personally, I had to come to a time where I confessed everything to the Lord, everything. And then he asked me to forgive people. Mm -hmm. The person who, who sexually violated me when I was a little girl a few times, I had to forgive. I didn't have to go to that person, but in my heart between me and God, I had to say, God, I forgive that horrible thing that happened to me. And then um, through his word, He's undone lies in my life because we all are injured. We have lies that we believe like, I'm ugly, I'm not smart, I'm not good enough, I will never amount to anything. You know, I'm, we, we listen to people's lies and, and we believe them. And if we are operating out of our lies instead of out of the Word of God, we cannot have a victorious life. And so... Um, Jesus is the one, he, our love relationship with him that makes all the difference in the world. And he comes in and he says, I will equip you. There is a song that says, every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. And if I'm in his word and I pray, I start my day off that way because if I'm going to do it, and, and go, oh, I better fold the laundry first, or I better go and clean up the dishes, or I better do other things. I've got to start my day with Jesus, and I say, God, anything that comes into my day, I want it filtered through you. So then I get his perspective and his way. And, and again, am I perfect? No. Peter wasn't perfect after he was filled with the Holy Spirit. Paul lets us know that. <laughs> but... Um, how do you do it? It's just putting one foot in front of the other, walking with Jesus. The track shield do kishe daya ture që duket se janë shumë largë shenteris në jetën e tyre të përdiqshme. Well, first of all, I think it starts with prayer. And um, if you don't mind, I'm just going to lead. If someone's listening and they're they're feeling that they need to to know God like this and to to live a life for him I'm just going to lead in a short prayer and if anyone listening watching wants to pray this prayer not to me but to the Lord um, I'm just going to allow you that opportunity and it would be Lord Jesus I've been trying to do it on my own for far too long I'm going to ask you, Jesus, to come into my life, renew my relationship with you. I surrender my life to you. Please forgive me of all my sins. Please forgive me for trying to do it on my own. And I pray in the name of Jesus that you would fill me with your spirit so I can live that life of holiness, not a life of perfect, no, sir, but just holiness, becoming more and more like you every day. So I surrender my life in the name of Jesus. Amen. And then I would say, find a group of believers where you can study the Word of God mm -hmm. and be challenged and accountable. Accountability is wonderful. So be accountable with another, another believer who will help you in your journey. Do I tot falenderoj, falemderit për atë që ndave nga zemra dhe uh, në fund të kësaj interviste, unë besoj që Zotin nuk ka përfunduar me ty, me shërbesën të ndë, ka më shumë e më shumë. Të falenderoj. Praise God. Thank you for having me. Faleminderit. Miqë, qëllimi është përparimi jo për sosmëria apo letësia, pra ndaj duhet të vazhdojmë të esim për para edhe kur është e vështirë. Jezusi ka premtuar në Biber, në fjallin e ti. Unë do t'jem me ju, deri në fund të botos. Rikëthemi pas pak në studio.